Hey ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of My Hero Academia. And um, I know that this week the uh, the new film, uh, Heroes Rising, came out and some people were very, very excited about that. Um, I've been told that apparently it's not too spoilerific for those who don't read the manga. So if there are any local showings, I may well consider it. Or I might just wait for it to come out on, um, on you know, whatever release and and watch it that way and then react to it on patreon or something um but yeah i hope everyone enjoyed the film so moving on from our last episode which you know again reminding everyone that with the dub we're still two episodes behind the sub um it was actually a a fairly slightly strange but also quite wholesome episode because we saw the first half of the episode focused on the battle with the school kids um and some very strange moments, especially where, um, you know, Bakugo and Todoroki both kind of got charmed, and they both had this very cute look to them, I guess is the best way that could be described. Um, and, you know, in the end, what they realized was they had to use all their quirks to distract these kids in a different way. You can't fight the kids. You know, they are kids. So they use their quirks to make a slide. Like, a big, fun slide. And um, the kids loved it. And that really swayed them and turned them around. And there was a really cool moment in there with Bakugo. And the kid who was apparently the the gloomy ringleader, you know. Um, and Bakugo was actually really insightful for once. And was kind of like to the kid, you know, you uh, you don't want to go down this path. You know, you don't want to kind of be angry at the world because it, it's going to screw you up. Um, and it was nice to see him speaking from, like, a place of experience and just showing a little bit of growth in terms of his character. Um, the rest of the episode focused on a very strange goings-on between Ayama and ba uh, and Deku. Um, Ayama, first of all, came across as a bit of a creep. You know, watching Deku from outside his balcony bedroom, his bedroom balcony, uh, leaving messages in cheese. At one point, force feeding Deku cheese, and then using his um, belly laser in a very suggestive way through um, a slab of rock. You know, and so at that point, I was thinking, "My God, what is going on here? What is this kid doing? This is not the way to go about whatever it is you're feeling right now." Please stop. And it was only when Deku kind of confronted Ayama that he kind of came out with what he was really feeling in that he felt a bond between those two because they're the only two whose quirks do damage to their body. Um, obviously with Deku, we know that his body was never really built to handle um, one for all. And he's been working on that to, you know, try and increase his endurance with Ayama, he gets terrible stomach pains because, you know, his belly laser is not uh, is not designed for his body. So, you know, um, yeah. I don't know what Zuko's doing down there. Zuko? Buddy? Don't kill the toy. He's just a toy, okay? Yeah, strange cat. <laughs> um, but yeah. It was, it was, in the end, it was quite wholesome because, you know, it was like, really, Ayama just wanted someone he could connect to um, and someone he could, you know, relate with. And um, I really enjoyed the little moment between them. And I'd love to see a little bit more of Ayama because he's strange, which is good. Um, he's eccentric, which is good. And I feel like he's a good, he's a good guy. You know, it feels like he, he's got the right attitude to be a hero. So um, I am very much looking forward to seeing if we get more of him. But we're going to jump into this episode. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters. Frank Tremel, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, Raccoon Shampoo, Flawed Otaku, Ace, Nick Walters, Trey Harbour, The Seven Deadly Sins, and Damon Smallwood. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what happens next. Yeah! <laughs> Where did that come from? 
dancing skills end up being super useful in hand to hand combat. Yeah, break dance battle. control over every part of her body. Maybe I should take up dancing too. She could teach you. Dancing. Deku dancing. Really? Make sure you're staying loose. Oh no. <laughs> That's all he do. Drop it, moron! Forget about what you saw in there. Why is she so embarrassed about liking music? For real though, you should start a jam session. Oh. Just shut it. Hush, Kirishima. Don't you ruin this. Think about it though. There are villains everywhere right now. You're right. That's a reasonable point. He's caterpillaring. There are students here besides those in the hero course. This year's will only be open to UA students and staff, with a few exceptions. You may not be the focus this time, but your class <laughs> still needs to participate with some kind of original programming. I want a job where I can get into a sleeping bag and just go to sleep. A maid cafe! Seriously, imagine it! That's a bit... That's a bit... Yeah. And if you imagine me in the center of the action, oh yeah! Yeah, that's definitely why. We've already got a winner. Maids. It is good to serve others. That's way too <laughs> Minetta, that's oh no. Thank you. Thank you. Is the air cut off? Please tell me that the circulation is cut off to his brain. I love his commentary. Maybe a skit? Possibly. Besides. Seems kind of weird to offer a bunch of random food. Quiet down! I'm telling you, a fun house would be so cool. What does that even mean? Uh-oh, he's losing control. An educational lecture. Oh no. Who come see that? He's joking, right? No way. We'll decide what we're gonna do by the That's gonna put the pressure on. He did that intentionally to make them make a decision. Where's the raid team? I don't disagree. We're aiming to be heroes, right? So we mm -hmm. should be aware of any trouble we've caused. Do something nice for them. Correct. And with that in mind, I don't think we can offer the students of UA a meal that satisfies their taste buds since they're used to lunch rushes gourmet cooking. I got the idea from my extra exam training. <laughs> what are they doing in those little classes? Interesting. What a shot. Huh? I love it. Nobody really dances, do we? No one wants to see a cringy routine. No prob. I got you, fam. Oh no. Are we going to see individual dances? Uh oh. Jack. What? Come on. Why don't we perform live with all your instruments? Absolutely not. That's a lot. You're really good at playing and teaching people how to play. If I didn't do it, I guess it wouldn't be rocking at all. Yeah. Wow, she sounded like a completely oh, different person yes. there. Uh-oh. What's the next video? Like this school's never seen before. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? So yeah, I'm Deku. A hero name? It's like a nickname, sort of. Does she not know who heroes are? Mm -hmm. Right. She must so do. Lemillion and Deku. And then... Oh no. There was a man wearing glasses. Oh no, don't. I'm getting hurt real bad because of me. I guarantee that none of us think this was your fault at all. You know what we are thinking though? Man, I am stupid glad that Aries okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. There's no point in apologizing. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> this is so silly. I think I've forgotten how smiling feels. Oh, that's so sad. Though unlike festivals in the past, this year's will only be open. He's going to invite us to the festival. Staff, with a few exceptions. This is perfect. No real chance to run into anyone from outside the school. But is that a risk that just, it might overload her? An overwhelmer. Could leave the hospital? 
are different games and performances. They sell food. Oh, and get this. I bet there will be candy apples there. Candy apples. Oh, she doesn't know what so candy apples are. Into some crackly sugar stuff and make it even sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk it over with the principal. A date? <laughs> That's when two people who like each other spend time together. So, we're going on a date? Uh, Maybe that's enough for you. Yeah. Let's not go down that avenue. Chief, come here, you need to see this post. It's a new video from you know who. Woof, we still haven't Woof. found a single clue yet, right? God. Let's find out where he uploaded this video from. Imagine that he's you tried, but he's way too good at Your quirk right? is just being a dog. No excuses, please. What are not friends? Uh oh, here's our next villain. Hold on. Oh no. That does not look gentle. The guy who's all over that video site. Oh, and it would be ever so lovely if you look could at that. Have bills in stacks of ten. Jeez, so look at that collar. <laughs> Who's that? Calm yourself, La Brava. La Brava? I think a duo of dodgy do-gooders could hope to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's more than a duo. Uh, cut to black, if you please. Oh. Is the show about to begin? What the hell? Lost, my darling girl. We can't be Gentle criminal at your service. And now, dear viewers, I must say cheerio. Cheerio. Next time. Toodle pop. Gentle video. See you next time. That was so strange. These are becoming more elaborate. We're not getting many views on the new video. Even though you were absolutely undeniably oh, wonderful today. Oh, you're just don't get it. adorable looking. As I thought. They're wearing the same pants. History, I will need to accomplish greater feats. It is time for a proper spectacle. He's got a cup of tea on the roof. The question, of course. Fret not. I will settle on something quite perfect. Of that, I'm sure. Okay. Hot! <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're meeting our next, like, main villain, Gentle. Um, different, very different from what we've had so far you know what we normally had is someone dark and intense and um murderous but this guy seems a bit of a showman um very prim and proper very british and i feel like his goal is more to become famous than it is to commit acts of villainy um you know he he, he kind of i i really like the idea you know after so many seasons of having the League of Villains and Overhaul and, and so many others whose idea is to just destroy, you know, heroes and cause death and destruction. I like the idea of a villain who is a bit more gentle and only wants to enhance his own reputation and does it in a way that, yes, they commit crimes and they are, you know, very much a nuisance for heroes but it's a bit more light-hearted and a little bit more goodwilled, you know. Especially with this just being like, I'm going to assume it's a fairly shortish arc. If it's going to go to the end of the season, then at most it's probably going to be like 10 episodes. So we don't have as much time to build up this character as we might have done with someone like Shigaraki. Um, <clears throat> and so I just, I, I really like the idea of having someone who is a little bit more light-hearted and... Wants to perform for the camera. You know? And, um... I don't know what his ability is, but it made the convenience store go all wibbly-wobbly. Um... And he's got a sidekick as well. I'm I'm very, very interested in what this is going to be. You know? So, first, the first bit of this episode was... Kind of adorable. You know, everyone kind of trying to decide what they want to do for the rest of the school, for the festival. And, you know, one thing I really like about this show is that it's got a bigger perspective than just the students that we are seeing on screen. It constantly reminds us that, yes, these are the heroes. These are the top students. These are the ones who get all the attention and are treated like little celebrities. But there are other students at this school and they have emotions and they have needs and desires. And, you know, those emotions can be 
they can be, you know, affected by what happens with the UA students and, um, you know, the like the hero classes. And so I really like the idea that they want to now give back to those students and they want to give them something to look forward to and they want to help them. You know, it, it, it again goes to the core of what being a good person is and it's thinking about others over yourself and thinking about how you can help others. And, um, you know, I, I, I just... Yeah, I, I just, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they decide upon. I mean, it looks like it's going to be the the rock concert. Um, I was surprised, really, at a lot of the the talents that have been kind of flagged up here. Um, the dancing, the, the singing and the performing. You know, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes down. Um, you know, we're going to get like a live concert. And the, you know, one thing I, I think was brilliant is the way they got Aerie into this. And Aerie is such a tragic character that, you know, she is, you know, she can't be any older than 10. And she doesn't know how to be happy. She doesn't know how to smile. Um, and that's such a horrendously tragic thing. She doesn't know about candied apples, you know. It even seemed like she didn't really know what heroes were. Can you imagine living without that hope? And without that basic kind of happiness for so long. So, you know, I really do appreciate what Lamillion and Deku are trying to do here. Um, and, you know, it's such a sweet thing to, to want to take her to this festival and let her have some fun. You know, they, they could easily just leave her in the hands of the hospital. But that's not what a good person would do. And so I think it's really good of them to put that effort in and want to, you know make her see the world for what it really is um so this was again it was another kind of wholesome episode with a little bit of intrigue um in our new villain and also setting up you know this festival which i think is going to be a lot of fun um and i'm really looking forward to it so yeah anyway ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and i will see you for the next episode